Broda, Croeso e Guastanaif Arufnas. Good morning and welcome to this week's assembly. Our half term value is all about trust. Hi everybody, we've got a great story this week to finish off our value of trust and it shows us today how by being honest and truthful will always be the best way going forward. So I hope you enjoy today's story. The Empty Pot is this week's story and it's all about the Emperor of China, the King of China, looking for a new Emperor because he's getting very old. But he sets an unusual test to test who he can trust to become the new Emperor of China. A long time ago in China, there was a boy named Ping who loved flowers. Anything he planted burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even big fruit trees, as if by magic. All the people, everybody in the kingdom, loved flowers too. People planted flowers and trees everywhere, and the air smelt like sweet perfume. The king of China, called the emperor, loved birds, animals, but most of all, he loved flowers, and he looked after his own garden every single day. But the emperor was getting very old, and he found it really hard to look after his garden every day. He needed to find a new emperor to take the throne. Who would the new emperor be? And how would the emperor choose? The emperor decided he needed somebody he could trust. So he set an unusual test. The next day, all the children in the land were told to come to the palace. There, they would be given special flower seeds by the emperor. Whoever can show me their best plant and their best flower in a year's time, the emperor said, will be the new emperor of China. The news created great excitement throughout the whole land. Children from all over the country came to the palace to collect their flower seeds. All the parents wanted their children to be chosen as the new emperor, and all the children hoped they would be chosen too. When it was Ping's turn to go and see the emperor for his seed, he was the happiest child of all, and he was sure that he would grow the most beautiful flower. Ping set to work. He filled a flower pot with the richest soil, and he planted the seed in it very carefully. He watered it every day. He couldn't wait to see it sprout, grow and blossom into a beautiful flower. Now get ready to pause the assembly. Do you think the flower grew? See if you can explain your answer. But day after day passed and nothing grew out of his pot. Ping was very worried. He put new soil into a bigger pot to see if this would make a difference. Then he moved the seed into his new rich black soil. Another two months he waited. Still nothing happened and nothing grew. Soon a whole year had passed and nothing had grown. Spring came and all the children put on their best clothes to greet the emperor with their flowers. They all rushed to the palace with their beautiful flowers, eagerly hoping to be chosen to be the next emperor of China. But poor Ping was ashamed of his empty pot and he thought the other children would laugh at him because for once he could not get a flower to grow. Get ready to pause the assembly. Why do you think Ping's flower hasn't grown and all of the other children's flowers did grow? One of Ping's friends ran by 
holding a great big flower. Ping, he said. You're not really going to the emperor with an empty pot, are you? Couldn't you grow a great big flower like mine? I've grown lots of flowers better than yours, Ping said. It's just this seed that won't grow. Ping's father overheard this and said, Son, you did your best and your best is good enough to take to the emperor. So, holding the empty pot in his hands, Ping went straight away to the palace to show the emperor. The emperor was looking at all the flowers slowly, one by one. How beautiful all the flowers were. But the emperor looked cross and angry and he did not say a word. Get ready to pause the assembly. Why do you think the emperor was cross and angry when he saw all the beautiful flowers? Finally, the emperor came to Ping. Ping hung his head in shame, expecting to be punished by the emperor. The emperor smiled when he saw Ping and he said, Why did you bring me an empty pot? Where is your flower? Ping started to cry and he replied, I did plant the seed you gave me, emperor, and I watered it every day, but it never grew. I put it in a better pot with better soil, but it still didn't grow. I looked after it all year long, but nothing. So today I had to bring you an empty pot without a flower. I am so sorry. It was the best that I could do. When the emperor heard these words, a smile slowly spread over his face and he put his arm around Ping. Then he exclaimed to everybody there, I have found him. I have found the one person who will be the new emperor of China. Everybody was shocked. The emperor then turned to the other children and said, I do not know where you got your seeds from because the seeds I gave you were all cooked. They could not grow into plants and flowers, so it was impossible for any of them to grow. The emperor turned to Ping and said, Ping, I admire your great courage to appear before me. I know that I can trust you and I can trust you with the whole of the kingdom. Ping had passed the emperor's trust test and now was the new emperor of China. <laughs>